Hi everyone, Gilliam Elliott here. I am joined by Laura, our outreach coordinator here for Medical Tourism Business. Hi everyone. So Laura and I have gathered some frequently asked questions that you guys have been asking about the Certified Medical Travel Agent Certification. And so Laura's gonna ask me these questions, I'm gonna answer them. So hopefully if you guys are interested in getting certified, this video will be really helpful and it'll address the question that you have. Well, we have a lot of great questions today from people who has been asking about the CMTA certification. So, Yil, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, we have a lot of questions. What advice would you give to someone who is thinking of starting a medical tourist company? Well, what I would say to somebody who's interested in starting a medical tourism company is that from the beginning, make sure that you do research because research is important. But one thing I would advise is don't spend months and months gathering independent research on your own and going to different websites and gathering information. Make sure that you go to one trusted source who can give you the supporting tools you need to start your company, whether that be advice, whether that be certification. But from the beginning, as a startup founder, you need resources, you need help. And the best way to get help is by going to a trusted source that has a background in the industry and who has a proven track record. But I would say from the beginning, the, the number one thing I would tell people is do research, but make sure you don't get stuck in the research phase and make sure you get support from people who have proven track records. Because as a, as a startup founder, things can be really tough. Medical tourism is such a niche industry. And getting that support from the beginning can really make a difference whether you have a successful business or whether your business doesn't make it. And so I would just say, have a clear vision, work with professionals, and the sky's the limit from there. It's a good answer, right? <laughs> so, we continue here. What makes the Certified Medical Travel Agent certification different from other courses in the industry? Well, what makes the Certified Medical Travel Agent certification different is that it's the only course in the industry made for medical tourism startups. This course walks you through the whole process of starting the company from the ground up. It goes over things like best practices. It goes over risk management, popular business models, new trends in medical tourism. It covers everything from A to Z, everything that you need to know from the beginning. And when you first start your company, uh, a lot of times if you don't have a background in medical tourism or you have no experience in the industry, you don't really know where to start. So this course shows you where to start and it shows you how to grow your company just from, from the ground up. So that's, that's what really sets it apart from every other uh, certification in the industry. Okay. Thank you, Gil. So who should get certified? So our certification is primarily taken by people who are in the beginning stages of starting their medical tourism company. And so that's who the certification is made for. And that's who primarily takes the course. But we have people from all walks of life who take the course. We have a lot of healthcare providers, nurses, uh, people who are interested in the industry and they're just doing more research. We have students that take the course. Uh, we really have people from all walks of life who are interested in medical tourism who takes the course, but it's primarily made for medical tourism facilitators who are in the beginning process of starting that company. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a lot of questions <laughs> today. So how does becoming certified instill credibility? Yeah, so credibility is one of the main reasons why people take the course, uh, because once you get certified, you're able to use the certification logo on your website, on your promotional material. And once people see that certification logo, they know that a third party has validated your company and that you hold yourself to a certain standard. And when you have a certification and your competitors doesn't, it makes you stand out. And so credibility is one of the biggest things that a founder is gonna face. And this certification really overcomes that challenge for you because people can see from the beginning when they land on your website or when they see your promotional material, this person is different. This person took a certification. This person is a serious person in the industry. And and it really just gives you credibility from the, from the get-go. Very interesting, that. Well, mm -hmm. now we have a very interesting question. Mm -hmm. So, what languages is the certification available in? Okay, so we get this question all the time. So people will reach out all the time and they'll say, hey, I want to I want to take the course. I want to get certified in medical tourism. But English isn't my first language. What language do you guys what other languages do you guys have the course in? So and I think people ask this question primarily because they're worried if the, if the course is going to be confusing, if it's going to have big words and maybe terms they don't understand. And maybe they may not be able to pass the course. But the course is written as very basic language. If you understand basic English, you'll be able to pass the course. But right now we have the course in English and we have it in Spanish. But like I said, if you understand basic English, the course is, is written in basic terms. It's not meant to be confusing. It's meant to show you how to set up a medical tourism company from the ground up. And that's exactly what it does. And it does that in very basic language. So English and Spanish right now, we're looking at other languages as well. But if you understand basic English, you won't have a problem with it. So people, <laughs> you're on it. Well, next question. Is there 
a workbook for this certification program? So the workbook is integrated into the certification, so we don't have to mail you anything. Once you enroll into the certification, everything's there online. The workbook, all the material that you need is right there online. And also the certification, it's not only in text, right? So it does have a lot of written text, but it also has graphs, charts, a lot of videos. So we try to communicate the information to you in, in many different ways, but the workbook is already integrated and it's, uh, it's already there in the course. So, yeah. Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, other question. Is the course offered in person or online? So our course at the moment is 100% online. We may change that uh, here in a little bit, but right now, um, everything's online. Like I said, we don't have to mail you guys out anything. You enroll in the course, you get a link. And then once you get the link to the course, you make your username and password and you can start taking the course right there, uh, right there online. So it's hundred percent online. And that is perfect. It's easily for the people to. Absolutely. And that's why we did it. We made it so it's easy for you guys. So you guys don't have to wait to get a workbook. You guys don't have to wait to get material in the mail. You take it online and anywhere you have internet connection, you can take the course. Next question. Is this certification for facilitators worldwide? So this course isn't made for facilitators in one particular country. Although we're US based, this course is taken by facilitators all around the globe and it's made for facilitators all around the globe. It shows you how to set up a medical tourism company no matter where you're located. So no, it's, it's made for, uh, for people everywhere. Perfect, yeah. that's good. Yeah. We have an interesting question here. What is the difference between the certification program and the annual membership? Yes, so the difference between the certification program and the annual memberships is that if you just enroll as a certified member, you can take the certification program, like I said, you can take it anywhere you have internet access and you have access to all the material there. Now that's the certification by itself. We have that program as a standalone program. Now we also have our annual memberships, which include the certification. So if you're starting a company, you don't just want to get certified because you get education and then that's it. No, you want to get the certification, which is in our annual membership programs, and then also get the resources that we provide, like contracts, like a sample business plan, marketing plan, and support from our team. The annual membership comes with all that. So if you're just interested in medical tourism and you want to learn more, I would say just get certified. But if you're starting your company from the ground up, you want to get an annual membership so you get certified and you get all the support and tools you need to start your company and manage it, as well as support from our team and myself. So that's the, that's the primary difference. Thank you. <laughs> Continue here. So is there a discount if multiple people on our team get certified? Yes, so if a group or a team wants to get certified, we do have discounts for that. Also, we have memberships that come with multiple certifications. So if you're a founder, you have a co-founder, we have a membership that will provide both of you guys certification. So both of you guys can get certified through that membership program and you guys can also get supporting tools. But yeah, if you guys wanna get certified as a team and you just want certification, we have an absolute discount for that. So, and, and the best way to uh, find out more information about that, you guys can email us at info at medicaltourismbusiness.com or you guys can email me directly at gill, G-I-L-L, at medicaltourismbusiness.com. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yes. When and how will I get my exam results? So when you take the exam, you get your results immediately. And so I want to explain to you guys a little bit what I mean by immediately. So after you complete a module, after each module, you're going to have a short quiz. And this quiz is just to make sure you retain all the information that you learned over the module. And so you're going to take this quiz. And then after you answer each question, in the quiz, you're going to see immediately why you got the answer right or why you got it wrong. It's going to explain it to you. And then you just go through each module, take the quiz. And then at the very end, you're going to have a final exam. And then once you pass the final exam, it's going to tell you what your grade was, what questions you got right, what questions you got wrong, and it's going to explain everything to you. So you get everything in real time. All your exam results are in real time. That's a good course. Yes. <laughs> well, next question. What score do I need to pass the course? It's an important question. That's a, that's a very important question, right? We all want to know that one. So when you take the course, you have to make a 75% or above. And you shouldn't, like I said, you shouldn't have any, any problems with the course because the course isn't difficult. It's just really simple, but it breaks down medical tourism to its simplest form. The course is made to show you how to start a company from the ground up. It's not made to be confusing or complex. It really lays out everything in simple terms. But if you have an unfortunate grade or you have a grade you don't like, you can always go back and take the course again. Well, after someone passes the course, what do they receive? So after someone passes the course, they get a series of things. So they get a few things. Uh, one thing they get is a certification seal. 
and that seal you can put on your website, your promotional material, uh, anywhere you see fit because you're certified and you have showcased to us that you understand the best practices of medical tourism. So you're able to use that seal. Then you're also going to get a uh, certificate of completion. This certificate of completion is going to have your name on there. It's going to have the certification seal on there. It's going to have uh, the date you passed the course. And it's really just going to be a certificate that shows that you've demonstrated that you understand uh, medical tourism and that you've passed the course. So those are the two most important things you get once you pass the, uh, the certification course. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, other question here is, what is the duration of the certification program? So the course, depending on how you take it, most people don't take the course in one sitting. Um, you know, when people get into medical tourism, a lot of times they have careers already. And so you could take it at your own pace. But if you take it from start to finish, it typically takes around 12 hours. Um, but yeah, it just really depends on how much time you have to dedicate to the course. But if we're just talking about start to finish, around 12 hours. OK, next question. Mm -hmm. What formats is the course material presented? So we present the material in various ways. Um, we present the material in video format. We do it in written format. We have graphs, charts, infographics. We really try to communicate the information in a variety of ways. So th those are all the ways we present the material. But yes, yeah, it's, it's a variety of different ways. And uh, we're trying to make sure that we're communicating the message as clear as possible in, in as many formats as possible so you can understand how to start the company from the ground up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Can I preview the course content before enrolling? Yeah, you can preview the content before you enroll in the, in the certification program. And the best way to do that, though, is by going to our website. So we have a syllabus on our website that really just breaks down every topic that we cover in the certification. And it kind of gives you a brief overview of each topic. So that's the best way is by going to our website, looking at our syllabus page on our website. And yeah, you'll be able to see all the topics that's covered. And it'll give you a good preview of what you'll be learning uh, during the certification. Good. Yes. Well, the last unimportant question, mm -hmm. how do I enroll in the Certified Medical Travel Agent Certification? Yeah, so if you're ready to take the next step and launch a business and you want to get access to resources, tools, as well as support uh, from our staff, um, the best way to take that next step is uh, you can reach out to me at gill, G-I-L-L, at medicaltourismbusiness.com or you can reach out to our general email address, info at medicaltourismbusiness.com, and we'll be able to walk you through the steps, get you enrolled, and go ahead and start you on the step to, uh, to launching your business. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching us. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys found this educational. And if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us. But uh, thanks again, and we'll be coming to you soon with another video. See you next time.